<sighs> What's with all the sighing, Elvis? Hmm? Oh, I was just reminiscing about when I first came across the old book here is all. I found it when I was going through Lady Emma's things after she... <clears throat> I couldn't read a word of it at first. But then I happened to plonk it down near an asterisk she had lying around on her desk and suddenly I could make sense of some of it. I just hope she managed to figure that much out at least. No way I've ever known now, I suppose. <sighs> Wait, what am I talking about? Of course there is. She was always jotting down wee notes about every little thing and shoving them in books. I bet there's something useful somewhere on those shelves. I guess we'd better take a look then, huh? <laughs> like teacher, like student. I'd love to know how much Lady Emma really knew about the book. Let's search the Institute and see if she let any, uh, left any notes about it. Search all the bookshelves in the Institute. We get an amulet. Alright. In addition to working on my research, I'm also teaching the basics of magic to a couple of young hopefuls. I'm trying to be patient, and I appreciate that everyone develops at their own pace. But I must say, one of them in particular has been a disaster so far. Elvis. On the first day, he set his hair on fire. <laughs> on the second day, he set his clothes on fire. Heaven knows what'll be going up in smoke next. And as if that wasn't bad enough, when he came in on the third day, he tried to laugh it all off and told me not to sweat the details, whatever that's supposed to mean. Still, I suppose blind optimism is a virtue of sorts. Uh, Elvis? Is she talking about... <laughs> Let's not sweat the details, eh? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I found a strange old book, and I'm struggling to make any sense of it. It seems to be written in a language I've never seen before. I'd almost given up on being able to decipher any of it, but then suddenly, some of it started making sense. Seems it was reacting to my asterisk, but I've not managed to work out much beyond that yet. It's driving me potty. There must be some way of reading the rest, though. And I'll not stop until I found it. Something tells me it's important. That he'd want me to. Who's he? So Lady Emma had noticed the connection between the book and the asterisk, eh? Do you know who she was talking about at the end? The he she mentioned? No idea, sorry. Someone from our past, maybe? She wasn't exactly one for sharing. My apprentice continues to be just about the sloppiest magician I've ever had the misfortune to teach. <gasps> but oddly, he's also the one I've the most faith will come good in the end. His progress has been painfully slow, but he's determined not to give up. He's got grit. I'll give him that. And curiosity, too. These two qualities alone will take him far. But most of all, He's compassionate, I suppose you'd say. He just seems to know when people need help. He's even snapped me out of one or two of my black moods. Aye. Huh. You're not all bad, Elvis. Lady Emma. Bah. It's no good. I can't make head nor tail of it. What if there's nothing to understand? What if it's just meaningless gibberish? I have to test my theory. I have to get my hands on another asterisk. Lady Emma, I brought the package you asked for. Thanks, Elvis. You can leave it over there. Still getting nowhere, eh? Hmm? Oh, you've been frowning at whatever that is for days now. Maybe you should take a wee break or something. A spot of fresh air can work wonders, you know. Not that that face you're making isn't charming, of course, but you wouldn't want to get stuck looking that way, eh? Is it uh, something I can help with, maybe? Uh, you're very kind, but I doubt it. 
Fair enough. Will you at least let me make you a nice cup of tea then? I... I... That'd be lovely. Thank you. All righty then. I'll be with you in a jiffy. You'll crack it sooner or later, Lady Emma. I know you will. Hmm, yeah. Ugh, Elvis. What would I do without you, eh? Well, well. And there I was, thinking I never gave her much of any use. I guess that's how it is with students and teachers, right? Aye, I suppose it is. And we got an amulet for it. Allow a girl her mystery. So Lady Emma fought alongside Sir Sloane once upon a time. Aye, 50 years back, to be precise. Sir Sloane did mention that they were around the same age. Ha, huh, then he told you more than she ever told us. We had literally no idea how old she was. It was impossible to tell. What do you mean? Well, some days she looked 30-ish, other days 20-ish. Some days she even looked younger than me. How's that possible? Was she using magic or something? Could be. Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, if she was around Sir Sloane's age, that would made her. Er, that would have made her at least. What does it matter how old she was? She managed to keep her youthful good looks somehow, and more power to her. I I suppose you're right. Some mysteries are better left unsolved, eh? Mmm. Smell that. Uh. Smell what? You're joking, right? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I've not come across that sweet, sweet aroma for a good old while. Excuse me, pal. You've got some mandarin tea in, eh? You've a keen nose on you, eh? A connoisseur, are we? Well, I wouldn't say that, but I know my mandarin tea, at least. I used to drink buckets of the stuff. That would explain it, then. Aye, it's a flavour that's hard to forget, that's for sure. I'd offer you some, but we've just this minute sold out, I'm afraid. What? Are you kidding me? Talk about getting a fellow's hopes up! So, what I can smell is my chances of having a cup wafting out of the door. Oh, well, that's just perfect. Sorry, I really am. Tell you what, if I ever get some more in, I'll set you a bag aside. How about that? That's nice of you and all, but I'm a travelling man. I'll probably be long gone by then. Ah, typical. Ah, it's all I can think of now. But honestly, you've got to try it. There's a reason they call it the Tea Lover's Tea of Teas. Okay. Wow. That does sound pretty special. So special that after I introduced it to my family, they started having it made by special appointment, no less. Wait, I thought I recognized you. You're a Leslie, eh? No wonder oh, you know your tea. Your lot used to be my best customers. Well, if that's the case, then maybe you can have a dig around in the stock room and see what you can find for old time's sake. Ugh, I'd love to help you, laddie. But I really have run out. And the only way to get more is to hunt down a lairad or two. The problem with that being that you don't see so many of them round our way these days. To be honest, it was a bit of a miracle that I managed to get my hands on that last batch. Yeah, What a pickle, eh? Well, looks like there's only one thing for it. Ahem. What, uh, We're you're monsters. planning on hunting some of these things down yourself? Of course I am! Who else are we supposed to get our hands on these tea leaves? Wait, <laughs> we? Aye! Or were you planning on making me do it on my own? Look! You'll thank me when you've tried this tea, I promise you. It's going to blow your tiny little mind. Or my name's not Elvis, Baron of Beverages. Aye, and I'll pay you a pretty penny for any you can't use as well. You've got yourself a deal, my friend. Alrighty, a hunting we will go. Tea of Teas. Mandarin tea is the tea lover's tea of teas. And I want you all to have a wee cuppa. 
It'll blow your tiny minds! But to get those precious leaves, we'll need to hunt down a lair ad or two. Okay. Oh, go on, please! I'm begging you! Look, I want to help, but this is all a little sudden. What's going on, Adele? Uh, this kid here says he has a job for us. Aye, that's right. I want you to go and fetch me some honey cups. They're mushrooms, and they're amazing. And I want to let my wee sister taste them. There were these two travelers who told me where they grow, but one of them got really mad when I mentioned going myself. You should have seen it. It is no place for a small child. Stay away, she said. She was so scary. But I have to let my sister try them. Which is why I need you to go and fetch them for me. Something tells me that you'll just go yourself if we don't. Fine. We'll help you. Ha, oh, thanks! Where did they say they grew again? Oh, I, Miasma Woods. It's off to the west there. Cool your boots, Selena. Where are we off to in such a hurry? Miasma Woods, of course. Huh? We ain't got no business back there, have we? Wait. You're going for the kids' sake. You and I both know how fond monsters are of honeycaps. And we both know how determined the boy was to procure some for his sister. We cannot risk him taking it upon himself to go there. <laughs> They're both bleeding arts. <laughs> no way would he go walk about in the forest after the way you spoke to him. He scared the pants of the poor mite. Still, we cannot risk it. We should never have told him that they grew there in the first place. Hey, hey wait up! For the sake of the kids. Can you go and get me some honeycaps? I'm desperate for my wee sister to try some. I can't go myself. That lady might get mad with me again. I think I found two of them on the on the field. So we won't that's not be too going bad. easy on you. Allow me. Examine this thing. Yeah. It's a fire and axis. All right then. And it's a plant. Yes, quick fire flurry. Perform five to eight quick physical attacks on random targets. Extra damage will be dealt to paralyzed foes. Oh, okay. That's the purpose of that opening. We've got a beast slayer. Check this out. And we captured it. Awesome. The user will step in to take damage in place of a selected ally, automatically adopting the default stance in the process. Okay. We got Mandarin tea. Woo -ee! Look at that great pile of leaves with gaddles. <laughs> Nobody's gonna be running short of your favorite tea now, huh? Aye, and I couldn't have done it without you. I owe you big time for this one, old pal. Now, prepare yourself for a cuppa that will change your life. Ah. Well, let's go and offload the surplus first, eh? Business before pleasure. Okay. Ah, up here. I wondered why we never came over here.
I already grabbed that one chest, but the rest of it... Thirty four ten pink. Three beast flesh. Heavy axe. Whoever told the kid not to come here by himself wasn't wrong. Yeah, better us than him for sure. So, shall we split up and go look for these mushrooms? Look, Selena, do we really have to do this? I mean, the kid didn't ask us for help or anything, and he sure as heck isn't paying us. Have you forgotten that we don't have two gold coins to rub together? And, and since when did we work for free anyhow? You saw how desperate the poor boy was to find the mushrooms for his sister. You saw the tears in his eyes. How could you possibly not want to help him? All right. All right, I get it. Good. Now, less talk, more action. <laughs> action, eh? What dirty work have you got for me this time? You think I need you? You wildly overestimate yourself. Ugh, do you ever give a straight answer to anything? <laughs> I could ask you the same question. <sighs> <sighs> Fine. But, but only, only for the, for the child's kid's sake. sake. Shall we? Yes, let's. <laughs> nice. Six mini ethers. Aka Ito Odoshi. A nasty surprise. I shall show no mercy. Demon, water, you rang wind. Primordial forces consume you. Guess it's my turn. Using the rock. Here, try this. Whew, that was a close one, eh? Here I go. Demon Slayer. Let me see. And this thing. Do lightning. Hurt. And then it absorbs water. So let's just use your Raga again. Scatter my enemies upon the breeze! Ha. Seven. Here I go! Here goes! Everyone okay? Ice and hut. Courage ring? Am I have five of those now? It's not like I ever bought one either. A nasty surprise. Let us fight! Okay, what's the plan? The 
only, uh... Here's what I can do. Aggravate. Bailing me out. Here I go. Okay. Uh, Lizara. Come and get her. <laughs> Goodbye. It is hard to fight when Good one powers, can barely huh? see. Courage to resist. Oak Staff. I think we already had one of those. Three remedies. The mushrooms at last! Yeah, awesome. Just hurry up, will ya? This place is crawling with monsters. Yes, yes. Just keep watch, please. On it. Huh? What the flaming heck is that thing? Well, whatever it is, it's messing with the wrong bloke. Bring it, Drongo! There. That should be. Look out! Hmm? Dag! I'll be right. Did you get your precious mushrooms? Yes. I believe I have enough. Sweet. Then let's get the hell out of here! And we're gonna end Wait, up having to fight I... this thing. The... Oh, she left him behind. Yeah, now we, we have need to, fight to have this. made an enemy. Yeah. Guess there's only one thing for it. That is a weird enemy. Probably plant type. Okay, let's do this. Right, let's see. Beautiful. To arms. You examine. Oh. Three foes. Okay. Yeah. That's plan. No big deal. Um. Examine the next one. Yeah. With an insect with two axes and stabs. A mere scratch. Yeah. I'm up, huh? Um. Need to examine the last one. Yeah. It's an insect. We can fire. Sing the heart. Ha. What's the plan? She takes no damage except from each turn. Okay, I get, I can deal with this. All right, so I want you to use fire on Gloria, and then Raga. Sorcery. Yep. Reduce my enemies to ashes. And it's gone. Let me at him! Um... Use an Ether on Elvis. Try this! Woo! That was a close one, eh? It healed back! 
Oh, that's loads of fun. Okay, um, we need to... Garaga. Holy Spirit, heal me. Sorry to be a pain. Thank you for the flames. Here oh, I go. Oh, what's next? No wonder. Kyraga. Reduce my enemies to ashes. All right then. Oh, I need to use your off the chain. Not weak to water. I don't know what Comet does, but we'll find out. That was good. Let me see. Still use a rock on this thing. Scatter my enemies upon the breeze! Alright, it's taking neutral damage. It's good enough. It's nothing. And it healed back again. Come and get it! Deeper. This'll do it. Oh, thanks for bailing me out. Allow me. Stand firm for now. <laughs> All right then. There's nothing. Yeah, I'll take the counter attack. Monsters. Let me see. Ah. All right, I want you to use benediction and then Draga. Holy Spirit, heal me. You saved my bacon there. Let me at him! Here goes! Oh. You got two VP just from this. Uh, just from being attacked. Reduce my enemies to ashes! Magic assail you! Primordial forces consume you! Hmm, what's the plan? Um, we can just do a normal, uh, Draga? Sacred powers restore you! Oh, thanks for bailing me out. Nothing like the Why did I hit Devald again? Oh, whatever. Um. Iraga. Just on this guy. And then get yourself. Uh, an ether. They'll come of magic assail you! Goodbye. Almost there. Yeah, this will help. The thing up top is the faulting. Let me at him. Uh, you default. <laughs> and that one came back. Iraga <laughs> <laughs> on this dude. Iraga. Primordial forces consume you. Reduce my enemies to ashes! Hmm, what's the plan? Okay! Um, this again, what the bomb fragment is for. And then. Off the chain.
into snow man. Oh, man. Enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye. Other one came back. Come on. Let me at him. Better fall. Fall. Very unfair. Right. Let's see. Fall. Yeah. Come and get it. Get the courage or Elvis. This will do it. Ah. Off the chain. Ventus element kill the snake. Yeah! Sorry. Don't take it personally. To arms. Use a bomb fragment. I'm so glad about these bomb fragments. A little gift. Oh, what's next? I wonder. <laughs> Hyraga, Hyraga, Hyraga. Build storm of magic, I seal you. Primordial forces consume you. Goodbye. That was a long fight. Our quest must go on. New powers, huh? Crushed ice. Look, over there. Are those the mushrooms the kid was talking about? Yes, and someone appears to have picked them for us. But why would they leave them here? No idea. Still, makes our lives easier. Sure does. Let's grab them and get out of here before we upset any more big, ugly monsters. Honey cat mushrooms obtained. Here you go, as promised. Crikey, I didn't expect you to bring me this much. Never underestimate the power of a good cup of tea to light a fire under a fellow. All right, let's get you paid up, shall we? A pleasure doing business with you. And speaking of pleasure, I reckon it's time we got a cup of this nectar down us, don't you? Mmm. That's the stuff. I could drink a bathful and still come back for more. And yourself? Bet you've never tasted anything like it, eh? It's good. It has a certain something. I can see how you get to like it so much. Ah, and get to like it I did. Lady Emma and I used to have a cup every afternoon. There was something about it. No matter how many times she told me off during the day, she'd always be nice to me at tea time. Aye, she taught me a lot. Made me the man I am today. But the first lesson I ever learned from her was how to brew a proper pot of this stuff. What you're tasting there? 
That's Lady Emma in a cup. I started brewing it at home and pretty soon the whole family was hooked. That's how come we started ordering it in specially. But learning to make it was no mean feat. There's a lot to it. And I was no more patient back then than I am now. <laughs> she stuck with me though. Drilled it into me until I got it right at last. Best teacher a man could hope to have. I sometimes think I should have done more to thank her. Not much I can do about it now though. Hey, Elvis. Do you ever wish you could go back? Maybe if you could do it all again, you'd listen more. <laughs> Try harder. Ach, nah. I'd be just as bad as I was the first time round, I'm sure. Some things run too deep. And besides, that angry face of hers was an absolute peach. <laughs> I'd never have got to see it if I'd been a goody two-shoes. Ah, anyway, that's enough nostalgia for one day. Uh, sorry to bore you. Oh, it wasn't boring at all. I'd like to hear more sometime. Maybe over a cup of this delicious tea. Aye. I'd like that. We got two MP booster buns. Sweating the details. So, you're particular about your tea, huh, Elvis? Nope. That's just one of the things I'm particular about. <laughs> yep, Mr. Don't Sweat the Details here. He sweats them plenty when it comes to how stuff tastes. As should anybody who enjoys the finer things in life, only the most sophisticated flavors can truly soothe the soul. Indeed, although such obsessions can be taken to excess, of course. <laughs> Says you. Wine's a good example. You need to know your vintages, your grapes, your producers. There's all sorts of factors to consider when picking a bottle. Fail to sweat the details there, and you're in for a uh, you're in a whole world of trouble. But what about your tavern selection? I don't see you sweating many details there. Ha! Shows what you know. With taverns, it's all about the atmosphere. It's not just a place to get a drink, it's a place to escape the stresses and strains of the world. To celebrate life in all its messy glory. So you'd best believe I'm sweating plenty of details when I pick one. And it takes an expert to spot a winner, I can promise you that. He's totally right. If the atmosphere is wrong, everything's wrong. Hi, and only then do you worry about what you're drinking. You want something that'll get you steadily but reliably merry, nothing too fiery. Hey, the fiery stuff is what you get <laughs> what gets you reliably merry. Why not cut straight to the chase? Because, my dear girl, that would be vulgar in the extreme. A gentleman takes these things gradually. Oh, and there I was thinking they were in agreement for once. Though they're sweating the details about which details to sweat now, I can't keep up! <laughs> Here you go. These weren't easy to get hold of. Oh, this is great! Thanks so much! I can't wait to see my wee sister's face when she tastes them for the first time. You're more than welcome. I hope she enjoys them. Oh, she will! Don't worry! Well, looks like the kid got his mushrooms. Yes, wonderful. What's the matter? What have you gone all sulky for? I am not sulking. I am perfectly fine. <laughs> Look, it was my fault you dropped the mushrooms, and I'm sorry. But the kid got his hands on them in the end, and he didn't get mauled by monsters either. All's well that ends well, right? I suppose so. Hey, listen, the way you went to all that trouble for the little and not many people would have done that. You've got a good heart, kiddo. I... I... <clears throat> Enough of your nonsense, Dag. We have places to be. Hey! Wait up! We got two speed booster buns. Culinary Pursuits. Mm, why can't I stop thinking about them? Ah, it's no good. It just keeps going round and round. What is it, Elvis? Ever since that wee lad mentioned honeycaps, I've been absolutely desperate to try some. They're meant to be to die for. And right now, I probably would die for a taste of one. Well, I guess your best years are behind you. Might as well go out with a bang. Yeah, laugh it up, you. 
As if I don't feel old enough already. I guess it would be pretty sad to die without tasting something everybody said was amazing. Yeah, if they're really that delicious, I sure wouldn't mind trying some. You'll be needing a few. There's meant to be at least ten different ways of cooking them. And each one brings out the flavor in a totally unique way. Ah, my, mouth wa my mouth's watering it just at the thought of it. Yet yeah, stop it, will you? You're making me hungry, too. Same here. Hearing you talk about them's got my stomach growling. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for a restaurant that specializes in mushroom dishes. Ha! Don't give us this, <laughs> the polite princess act. You're even more desperate to try them than we are. Yeah! And why not, eh? Life's short. Best enjoy it while we can. It's up to me to take care of my wee sister now. After all, I'm the only brother she's got. We got another quest with Elvis. Next time, kiddies, you need a bit more practice. What do you think you're doing? You should never aim a spell at someone, even as a joke. Never. I. I we. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, playing out, Gloria. We were only having a wee bit of fun. That may well be, but. Look, I. I apologize for reacting quite so strongly. But I... Uh, it's fine. You just surprised us is all, right? I... Oh, you don't mind. <laughs> because... <laughs> oh, you think you're really pretty? You... Uh, I beg your pardon? I know. I saw a really nice flower outside town. I'll go and get it to see sorry. Wait there. Yeah, you. Even the wee kiddies are falling over themselves to please the entrancing Princess Gloria. Do you have to make fun of me so mercilessly? What? I'm trying, then. It's... it means I'm... <sighs> never mind. She's been gone rather a while, don't you think? Ah, uh, she's probably just got distracted along the way. No, I have a bad feeling about this. We need to go after her. Blinded by beauty. My friend only went off to pick flowers, but she's been gone a long time. Miss Princess, could you go and find her for me? We get ten small JP orbs. Okay. Damn it. Look! A shoe. A very small shoe. What if it belongs to that poor girl? And here. Drag marks. Do you think she... Please, I don't even want to think about it. Come on, there isn't a moment to lose. Look! In his mouth! How could you? You'll pay for this. <laughs> You're in for a treat. I never rested up the name. Ah! It'll be fine. Up, huh? ha! <laughs> I bet it's weak to win. Scatter my enemies upon the breeze! No, it's Primordial not. forces consume you! Let me see. Sacred powers restore you! Cheers! I owe you one! Let me at him! Ah, uh, Ether. This'll do it! Haha! <laughs> Back in the game! <laughs> Alright then! You see that? Oh. Uh, you're going to just heal our. Or no, heal our yourself? Right! Let's get you patched up! Allow me. Examine. Yeah! Week two, lightning, light, and bows. And it's a... Okay. Yeah! 
Purge, and then Kura. Brace yourself. Does that feel better? Haha, <laughs> back in the game. <laughs> Come and get it. Gift courage. Here, try this. Let's go. Full speed ahead. <laughs> Take a step back. Yes, he does it. No big deal. Step takes like no damage at all. Ah. Oh. Hang in there, all right. Ah. Phoenix down. Andaga. Aye, this should do it. My time has not yet come. Will some of magic pursue you? Right, then. Oh, it's nearly dead. Okay, I'm, all set. I'm actually going to do um Percy Smash. Capture. Capture. And then attack. Let's see how you deal with this. Yeah! Yeah! Because I don't know that I can actually catch you. Sorry, don't take you personally. Alrighty, let's press on it. Who dares wins? This feels good. Reprisal. Well, we took care of the monster, but yes. Goodness. But uh, honestly, what were you thinking? Coming somewhere so dangerous all on your own? <laughs> you were so scary. <laughs> now, now, don't cry. It's all right. I'm just glad you're safe. That's all. Ben? I... I know I may have snapped at you both, but it's because I was worried about you. That's okay. <laughs> I... I scared you, didn't I? <sighs> I'm not so sure that's what's upsetting her, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't find that flower for you. Oh, don't be silly. It's the thought that counts. And you're back home safe and sound. That's the most important thing. Um, Miss Princess, would you like to come and play with us sometime? I want to talk to you some more. Hey, I want to talk to her too. I want to talk to her more than you. So will you? Will you come and play with us? Aye, please come and play with us. Gosh, well, I... See, they knew you told them off for a good reason. They wouldn't have asked you to play if they didn't know, would they? You're right, I suppose. Doesn't hurt that they go mini every time you so much as open your mouth, of course. <laughs> I thought I asked you to stop that. <laughs> <laughs> We got 10 small JP orbs. Playful days. I remember picking flowers myself when I was young. I used to like to weave them into crowns. Kids in my village used to do the same thing. Of course, I was only allowed to play with other princesses, or my ladies in waiting. Oh, I longed to be free like the local children. Still, I have fond memories of the game uh, of all the games we used to play. We used to pick flowers back in Magmail too. We'd pull the heads off and suck out the nectar. So delicious. Eh, 
Yes, there are a few ways to play with flowers. Did you know everyone has a different taste? We used to get so carried away. The grown-ups had to force us to stop. I was never much of a one for flowers, but I loved playing with being a knight. Ah, I didn't feel uh, half feel heroic uh, waving my wooden sword around. What kinds of games do they play where you're from? Uh, I guess we played sailors and pirates quite a bit. Sailors and pirates? Yeah, all the kids would split into two teams. Sailors and the pirates. And then we'd chase each other around. If a sailor caught a pirate, they put him in prison, which was usually just a square dawn in the sand. And the pirates could only get out of prison if a teammate came to rescue them. It was a risky move, but super cool if you could pull it off. Heh. <laughs> you were a big fan, I take it? Well, consider me schooled in kids' pursuits of the wild, wider world. Well then, that will be all for today. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.